Hi guys, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon here. It's about five o'clock in Los Angeles and it's so beautiful. It was super hot and now it kind of cooled off in my backyard and it's breezy and it's nice. We are going to make some grilled corn and then we're going to smother it with some with a compound butter made from lime and garlic and butter. Lime zest, garlic and butter. It's gonna be delicious. Then I'm thinking we'll grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese over top. You can get really creative. You can put chili powder or smoked paprika in the um, lime garlic compound butter. You can do whatever you want, but this is how we like it in our house. So let's get started. Okay, so over here I have my two fresh corn on the cobs. I shucked them myself. They're really, really yummy summer corn. I'm just gonna put a little bit of grapeseed oil over the top so that they don't stick or burn too fast or um, they have a nice little coating. And just a little bit. Grapeseed oil has a high smoke point, so it's perfect for your outdoor grill. Um, and then I have a little bit of kosher salt here. I'm gonna hit each one with a little bit of kosher salt. There is, we're using unsalted butter, so. And then let's just kind of get these on our hot preheated grill. And we're going to turn these every few minutes um, just to make sure that they don't burn on one side. All right, so in our bowl, I have one stick of unsalted softened butter, unsalted softened butter. I'm gonna put in some chives for some color and some anini flavor, some lime zest. I love lime with corn, and I love using citrus zest in like everything. Well, almost everything. Yum, I can smell the lime zest. That's good. Let's get our garlic clove, one garlic clove on our microplane. Do not grate your nails. Okay. And then we'll just mix that all together. And that is ready and waiting for us. I can hear the popcorn popping. So let's check it out. getting nice and like golden brown on each side and you want to make sure you keep an eye on it and keep flipping it. Okay so I'm gonna let the corn cook for a couple more minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like. Guys we're grilling up a storm today. Okay guys our corn is done let's get it off the grill. Put it on our cutting board and then we'll smother it with that butter. I already turned my heat off, so let's get going. All right, guys, I got my cute little corn husk, corn on the cob holders. Let's get those in. And then we're going to smother it with this garlicky, chivey, limey butter. A little on each ball well, lot on each one and we're gonna roll it around in it too probably could have gotten a better utensil for this but it's rustic we're outside it's summertime we've got summer corn and it's melting really fast okay let's kind of drench this in our butter Oops, our little thing fell out. Get all that butter over there. And look how pretty the, the chives look on top. Let's get just a little more on each one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wipe my hands and if this isn't good enough, which it is, we're gonna hit it with a little Parmesan cheese right over the top. Serve it super messy like this and it's awesome. And just for color, you could add a little more lime zest over top. 
my dog is right at my feet. If you could see her. All right. So let's get a little more lime zest over top just for the color, but also for the flavor and the aroma. Make sure not to get the white part, the pith. That doesn't taste good, it's bitter. Okay, so this is done. Yeah. I'm gonna photograph this and then I'll taste it. Okay, let's taste this delicious corn on the cob. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> mm. It's so good. You have to try it. <laughs>